Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the perfect motorhomes for state and national parks. This one is truly under 30 feet long, easy to drive, and there is no slide outs in this entire motorhome. This is a 2022 East to West Entrada model 2700N. We are gonna take a look at the inside features first, then the outside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you guys this awesome new brand of motorhome. This one doesn't have a slide out, but before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! Why the heck are we starting inside? It is very windy today here in Texas, you guys. Yes. Super windy. Yes. So yeah, let's just switch it up and do the inside first. Andrea, you know, sometimes nothing's wrong with switching it up. That's right. So um, let's begin with the cockpit okay. area. Okay. Um, and then we'll do like all the specs and stuff on the outside. So coming on into this cockpit area, Andrea, this does sit on an E350 chassis, not the 450. Speaking of, oh man, we're all screwed up. We got to get the cargo carrying capacity. Let me check on the door, Matt. Yeah. Coming in. Check on that door, please. Here you go. Thank you. And then while she's doing that, guys, we got the steering wheel right here. When we turn this baby on, you got a regular sony um sound system there and right there that's where your camera are you do have side cameras and a reverse camera plenty of cup holders right here plenty of leg space 1609 very nice 1609 and then andrea yes can you hop up all in here in the passenger sure. seat okay yes very nice comfortable um, doesn't look like I can recline my chair No, back, you can't because is, of that sofa. It's which, a pro and a con. Yeah. You know, the con is you can't record it, pull it back. But the pro is, this is the way this motorhome looks the entire time. Right up there, we do have a bunk over the cab. Look at that nice size TV right there. Yes, big TV right there. If you look back there, we got cup holders and little cubbies. Okay. I believe this holds 500 pounds good size it looks like there's windows on both sides which is nice for oh the, is there one is there yep. one behind the tv very nice yes double windows are very very nice nice bunk over the cab you got your ladder right over there check out this cabinetry andrea how do you like the cabinetry i like it yes it's kind of like that farmhouse but not really you know integra had the farmhouse but then they did like a little bit of like too much burnt wood or whatever this is some nice looking contrast Got your Furion speaker here. Very big window right there. Check out those valances. Approved. Oh, yeah. bing. Andrea likes the valances. And then we got that nice big window there. And we have these blinds. Oh yeah. Do it with two hands. Big oh. window. I don't know, I think it's off or something. Okay, and Good. we got some nice storage up here. Look, the storage goes all the way across. Yes, ma'am. that. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Andrea, those big windows makes it a lot brighter in here than Definitely. what it was. Right over here. We do got storage under the dinette. Soft clothes. Wow. Now that does drop down to make a bed. It sure does. There's seatbelts there. And I mean, look at this. I mean, this this gives me plenty of gut space, plenty of table space. As Andre says, it does drop down to make a bed. Very nice. Um, and then America, do us a favor. Let us know if you uh if you like us starting on the inside, or if you like us starting on the outside yes. first. We'd like to know. Today, unfortunately, I feel like we're going to be starting on the inside on every video with that windy wind. And then over here is your sofa. There is seatbelts here as well, which is very nice. The sofa, the only thing it does is jackknife down to make a bed. Let's show everybody what that looks like. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you know, good space for like a, a little kid or America, America. Yes. Yeah. Good space for a little kid. I mean, at the end of the day, this motorhome 
It's uh, it's 29 feet 11 inches. I'll mention that again on the outside. But this isn't for a ton of people. That's for, so that's going to be for your occasional guest. Okay, Matt. I just want to point out something very interesting. Yeah. Look at the ceiling. Oh yeah. Like I don't normally see that, so mm -hmm. that actually gives it more. I think of a brighter look in here. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I do see uh, they got speakers in here, which yeah. is nice. Right Lots there's the uh, AC unit. Plenty of lights to make it bright in here. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the kitchen, everybody. Talk to me. Okay. I like that there's a window. I don't like the mini blinds, but... Um, you got to do the mini blind thing there on the corner. Where is it? Yep. You got to get it out of the... Oh, uh, well, I'm not going to do that. No, okay. no. You can just do it like this. Well, no. We'll just open them. Here we go. There you go. Oh, they do that so it doesn't go all over the place. Yeah. For when you're driving. Okay. So look at this big residential sink here. This right. Is really big. We have an extension here. Yes. Um, there's a cabinet up here. Oh, that's a big cabinet. And we've got a Magic Chef microwave. Yes, ma'am. Three burner Magic Chef propane cooktop mm. with the lights. <laughs> and we got this nice storage under here. Very little though. More right there. Yes. Very interesting. Over here, we have the Magic Chef refrigerator. Very Camp good size. size. Already getting cold, and we haven't Look had this at that. for long at all. Very okay. good size. I believe that's the 12 volt. Yep, and there's a... And we've got a drawer here. Oh, my God. Soft close. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold what's, up. Wait what's, a minute. What's going on here? We've got pantry. Oh, I love it. Pantry space here. Very what good. What is this? That is to hold that door. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. Nothing comes out? No, it slides closed. Oh. For the toilet. Yep. Oh, okay. That tricked me there. Yeah, you thought it was like a secret uh -huh, door or something. I did. <laughs> All right, over here we got some more storage. Yep, this oh, could I be guess... used for pantry right. or Linens. bathroom. Yep. You got three drawers here, which is nice. I love the soft mm. clothes. Yes. Okay, and then we got the split bathroom here, Matt. Keep on going. Got the medicine cabinet, mm -hmm. great size, nice size sink. Yes, ma'am. Storage under here. Very nice. And then, oh, are we going into the bathroom? <laughs> does, does a bear okay. poop in the woods? It doesn't seem to be a. Okay, so there's no door here, but there is. No, because there's this door right, here. Right, right, okay. So that's good. Right here. Okay. Very interesting. Very setup. little in here. Very interesting, but um, the showers are twenty four by thirty six. It's totally doable, totally passable. Let me this see gets that a shower test shower seal. Door. I love those type. The yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, interesting toilet. This is like so. First and foremost, this is a little tight. Right. You know what I'm saying? But oh man, porcelain. You know what's crazy? I could give this the prime poop position. Here's why I'm not. Because the reason why I'm not is because half my body's in the shower. But I like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but seeing how... I, I know this doesn't make any sense. But seeing how tight this doorway is... It, it You know. Does that make sense? It's very tight in there. I mean, it's very small. Like, it's tight. But, but like once you're down, like it's tight to get into the shower and it's tight to get to the toilet. But once you're in the shower and once you're on the toilet, you're good. So I'm going to give that a prime poop position neutral. Okay. Um, coming into the bedroom here, we yes. do have a accordion door right there. Very nice. Nice right window. Yes. I love all that the drawers over there. Let's check them out. A lot of times you won't see that. Look at that. Yeah. You just see like a, a wardrobe, but that's nice. Very nice. Kind of like a little night like nightstands on the sides. Now it's... don't think you're not getting a wardrobe on right now. Because over here we got plenty of storage. We do have a third window in here to make it more not natural, light, and beautiful. There's your wardrobe. And you got your wardrobe. And it's one of those things There's where another window there. It's right? very bright in here. I really like that. Well, we Andrea, at the at the end of the day, this is a small. It's a small bedroom, so these big windows makes it feel light and bright and everything. And you do have a coax there if you want to mount a TV. Yes. Nice queen size bed. Let's see if there's storage under it. Oh, there has to be. 
Oh, oh. a little bit. Not that great. But maybe there's really good storage on the outside. Maybe. And then we do got power and USB over there. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, yeah, so that's the inside. Something else that I want to mention, there is no heat ducts in the floor. Wow. I do like the floor. Oh, as yeah, well. the floor is very cute. Yes, ma'am. And, um, before we take a look at the outside, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. All right, Andrea, so coming on outside, let's begin. Model is 2700N. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 29 feet 11 inches, Andrea. Again, this is perfect for state and national parks. Uh, this does sit on a Ford E350 chassis. And then right up there, we have a very nice bunk over the cab with the fiberglass front brawl. So this is not as nice as what Integra does with the front cap, but it is better than just having the piece of trim. It's called a brawl. Coming on over here, E350. It does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the God's oh, engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're hand cooked. Dyna Pro. I love those. LT 225-75 R16. And look at how shiny those rims those are. Shiny rims. Coming on down the side here, we got your mirror. Okay, up. Don't forget the Bev, never, never, never. Right here we do got running boards to get in and out of the motorhome. Right there you can see that you do have the side cameras. Okay, we do got storage. Storage. Very nice power awning with LED lights. And here's what's great on trail. Outdoor speakers too. Yes, uh, because this is an east to west, they do use Asdel, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Electrical outlet. Let's see what else we got our waste water holding tank. Right, Ooh. right here we got our potable water fill. Potable! Potable! Yes. And then here Ooh. is some really, Pass really through. good storage. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Very nice, a bumper for your stinky slinky. Right up there in the back tail light, you can see that it does have a camera. Also, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. I'm just excited to see a roof. You're I mean, a down. ladder. Hold on, Matt. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece. Uh, maybe it's not fiberglass, maybe it's TPO roof. You can see all the cutouts for the Max Air fans. Solar panel already on the roof, one AC unit, and there's your wine guard digital antenna. Hold on. <laughs> Great, if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What other RV sales is gonna take his fat ass up on the roof on a windy day? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, Andrea, stand right here. Oh, isn't that better? Oh yeah, much better. All right. Other side of the store. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right there, we got our sewer. 
fuel fill up? Yes, right there and there. Right over here, black tank flush, city water connection. Right here, 30 amps. One AC unit you guys saw on this. Black tank flush. Right over here. That's our propane. Yes, ma'am. Right there. And we'll have all the specs here. Bing! For everybody who is watching on television. And we've got our generator here. Yes. Uh, this is going to be the um, Yamaha, I believe. Yep. 45. Is that Yamaha or Kawasaki? That's, I always forget. That's um, Yamaha. Yamaha. Yep. Right here's your water heater. And then right over here, Andrea. More storage? Yes. Awesome. Well, Andrea, the outside of the East West looks great. But we've already looked at the inside. So now we're going to tell everybody the MSRP of this unit. But first, it's time we give everybody three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Uh, okay. I have dislikes. Yeah, let's go inside. Okay. Let's get out of this windy storm. You know what? First thing I dislike about it, twisty doors. I hate the twisty doors and I hate how the twisty doors swing down on the bottom. Does that make sense? Yes. Not a fan of that. Never was a fan of that. Never will be a fan of that. That is number one. Andre, go inside. Number two. Number two. Okay. So I'm really not liking how big the sink is because it takes up so much counter space. Wait, you're saying you like how you're saying you don't like how big the sink is, as in you'd rather have a smaller sink? I, I think I would, just to have some counter space. Like where where do you where am I gonna prepare food? Like mm. over here? I'm not mm. gonna sit over there. I mean, it just I don't know. No, I like it. I just feel like it could have been smaller just to have more counter space, or you know, at least let's have an extension here for, for sure. counter space. For sure. That's <laughs> number two. And then Andrea, number three for me is going to be this. It is going to be how tight the bathroom is here. Obviously, I'm not gonna like that. Nobody's gonna like that. And it just is what it is. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now, it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Can I go first? Sure. Okay, come back here. Here's what I will say. We can hate on them for this. But because of the small walkway, you are able to have a toilet in a really good position because of the shower. And be you're able to have the shower because of the walkway. Does that make sense? Yes. So this is a good size shower. The alternative is, Andrea, don't say the R word, <laughs> but radius. And if you did have a radius shower, your body wouldn't be able to be in it because this shower remains open, which makes it a good toilet placement position. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's number one. They took three look two negatives equal a positive you know Absolutely. what i'm saying and that's what they did here so that's my like number one andre you like number two i will say what i really like about this is i love that they gave you the pantry in here yeah and over here there is a lot of storage in here for especially how little it is there is a lot of storage a lot oh, of times you said here. yeah a lot of times you won't even get these pantries yeah yeah so i really like that a lot andre can i combo that yes I mean, with all the pantry up here, all the pantry <laughs> there, and yeah. all the pantry in the bedroom as well. Right. I actually, no, I 100% concur with you. I think that's awesome. So that's number two. And then, Andre, do you mind? Can I give you number three? Sure. I'm going to do a combo. I love the fact that this is 29 feet, 11 inches. People are going to call this a 27-footer, but tip to tip, it is 29 feet, 11 inches. Perfect for all the state and national parks in Andrea. I love how there's no slide outs. Yes. No slide outs means no problems. What you see is what you get. This the way it is while you're parked, while you're driving, while you're camping with one person, with eight people. This just the way it is. And, you know. No surprises. No surprises. And, you know, slide out statistically is the number one thing that's going to break on an RV. And so with this, you won't have that issue. You will still have issues. <laughs> it's an it's RV. It's an RV, but that won't be one of them. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on the East to West Entrada here is... 
$113,705. Andrea. MSRP. MSRP. That means it doesn't matter what dealership you buy it from. I'm going to talk for all of them. You're, 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 you're going to be able to buy this for less than $100,000, which MSRP is very, very, you know, that is super cool. And, um... Yeah, that's MSRP. I mean, I haven't heard of MSRP like that on a Class C in a while. Definitely not not one this size. Right. But Andrea, if you guys like this unit and you're interested in this unit, all you guys have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. That's our website. One, join our newsletter if you haven't joined our newsletter. But two, you'll see a contact us tab if you're ready to buy a motorhome. If you're ready to buy, click tab number one. I will get you with a member of our team. It doesn't matter where you live nationwide. We have a dealership partner that is always there to help get you a phenomenal price. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. East to West, they are new and they do read our comments, you guys. Yes. They want to see what you have to say. So make sure you leave your feedback. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.